If you want to rank on Google, but you have no budget, you've come to the right place. SEO tools are expensive. My favorite SEO tool comes in at $129 a month and that's not cheap, but that makes sense for me because I own an agency and we service a lot of clients. But if you're doing SEO on your own, that's a high price to pay. So I'm going to show you how to do keyword research for free. And yes, I know that the title of this video says for a dollar, but that's because YouTube doesn't like the word free in the titles of videos. So I put a dollar and guess what? You're already ahead. I just saved you a buck. All right, so we're gonna be using Google Search Console, which is a free tool from Google that allows us to look into the algorithm. And if you haven't created an account yet, go watch this video. I show you the step-by-step -step process on how to set up an account. Don't worry, it's really easy, and it's even easier if you watch that tutorial. And if you already have it set up, great, let's jump right in. Actually, can you do me a favor first and hit that subscribe button? I post videos just like this every Monday. All right, now let's really get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is log into Google Search Console, and if you need a link to that, go into the description. I have a link there, or you can just Google Google Search Console, and it'll come up. The page will look like this. You're gonna click start now. And if you already have an account, when you log in, it'll look something like this. Okay, so these are all my stats. I'm very transparent. I don't really care if you see or if another marketer sees how I'm doing here. These are the real stats because I wanna give you real world examples because I actually want to help you. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to search results here on the left-hand panel. The first thing I want you to do is make sure you have total clicks, total impressions, and average position clicked. Make sure all three of those are clicked because it's gonna be very important for us to see in the keywords that we're about to take a look at. So now that you have average position clicked, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna sort by impressions. I wanna see what keywords we're getting the most impressions for. This is the date range here. It's in the last three months. If you wanna change the date range to the last six months or 12 months, you could do that, but I want more fresh data. You could do the last 28 days, but the data might be skewed because Google might still be picking up your page or they may have not indexed your page yet. So make sure it's set to the last three months so that we have a good amount of data to look at. And again, make sure you're sorting by impressions. I wanna see the keywords that have the most impressions at the top. Just take a look at the keywords here. Difficulty, that's not really a keyword that we wanna rank for because it's so broad. Pizza near me, not something we wanna rank for. We are a digital marketing agency. Facebook debugger. Yeah, maybe that's one that we want to rank for. Uh, Winston AI. I'm very curious about this one because I think we just published this article about a month ago, not even a month ago, and we're already getting 13,000 impressions for this one variation of the keyword. So next, what you're going to do is just click on that keyword. Once you find one that you're like, okay, there's a lot of impressions, not a lot of clicks. I want to rank higher for that keyword. We can see here that, yeah, I think it was December 14th or something, we published this article, and we were just now starting to get impressions and clicks for that keyword. So if you look up here, where it says query, it says Winston AI. When you click on that keyword, it's going to add it up there and that's going to give you a filter. So now when we scroll down the queries, we can see that it's just Winston AI here. This will show me all the pages that we rank for when it comes to that keyword. We can see here, Winston AI, your go-to choice AI content detector, and then conversion AI, the future of content. I want to click on this first one because that's where we're getting the most impressions. And this other one, we don't really rank that well at all. So click on that one that's gonna add that to the filter there at the top. So we can see here that we have Winston AI and we have this page, that's that specific URL. So now what you wanna do is actually clear that keyword out of the filter. Now that it's out of the filter, you're gonna go back to queries down here and you're gonna see all the keywords that this page ranks for. So these are all variations of the same keyword. They may be adjacent keywords, but they're all gonna be here. You see down here at the bottom, there's 170 variations of this keyword that this article ranks for, this blog post ranks for. And I don't even know what Winston AI is. Somebody on my team wrote this. So if you have a lot of variations of this keyword, that's a great thing because we have a lot more data to choose from. So what I'm gonna do here is just change rows per page, I'm going to change this to 250 so that I can scroll down and I can see all of the ones that we rank for. We can see here the average position of the first one is 7.4. Winston AI detector, this one's still getting some a good amount of impressions. That's 8.1 average position. So that's the average position that it shows up on Google when somebody searches that keyword. And I know what you're thinking, how are we doing keyword research when we can see the keywords that we're already ranking for? Keep watching. I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to grab that first keyword. You're going to highlight it. Then you're going to go to that actual piece of content and then you're gonna do Command F or however you search a page and you're gonna paste in that keyword. And we can see here, I'm using this keyword 40 times on this page. That is a little bit excessive, but it's all about Winston AI. That's what we're talking about in this article. So we can see that we're using that keyword a lot, which is great. Then we're gonna do Winston AI Detector because that one's getting 3,100 impressions and we're not really ranking that well for it. We're not really getting any clicks for that either. And we're just gonna see how many times that is showing up on this page. So it's only showing up twice on this page and that's in content. That's not even in any heading tags. So here, maybe we could adjust this heading two tag to include AI Content Detector or Winston AI Detector because that's a keyword that people are actually looking up. 
They're not necessarily looking at future of AI content detection. And we're just gonna go through and do that with other keywords here. So again, sort by impressions. We wanna see the ones that have the highest amount of impressions. So we're gonna say Winston AI checker here, and we're just gonna go into this post and I'm just gonna paste that in. We are showing up for this keyword, although it's not even on this page at all. Basically, Google is smart enough to know that this keyword is relating to this content. But if we actually include that keyword on this page, it's going to help us increase our chances of ranking higher for that keyword because we're actually using it. So that's basically the entire process. You can do this with every page on your site and just go through and check how many times you're using that keyword. If you're using that keyword at all on that page, if you have scenarios like this, where there's a lot of impressions and low clicks and your position is also not in the top three, that's going to be a great keyword to go after and add to your page. If you don't have it, if you already do have it on your page, you might want to consider adding a heading two tag and maybe writing more and elaborating on that topic. So that's it. That's the entire process. Just go through and make sure you're using those keywords on your page. If you're not ranking high for that keyword, try using it in your heading tags, try elaborating on that topic. So if you have no budget and you're doing your own SEO, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using Google search console to at least do this initial research until you get to a point where you can afford a more expensive tool like SEMrush or Uber suggests or Ahrefs. And if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are we doing here? Come on. See you on the next one. Bye.